you, thank you, and thank you. Merry Christmas, and I wish everyone a Happy New Year. This is Calvin Dean. Welcome to Thursday Night Football with Calvin Dean, sponsored by the NFL Network. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. I hope everyone is safe out there. I um, just did, you know, uh, big hugs and and to everyone, all our frontline workers, uh, the hospitals, the, the everyone, please stay safe. You know, don't go to parties. Seriously, don't travel. Just relax. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your family. Guys, let's look at week 16. Why don't we? Oh, my God. Week 15 was just Mind-blowing, wasn't it? How two powerhouse teams, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Rams, going down last week. Just pathetic. I mean, think about it. You know, the Rams, the Los Angeles Rams, number one defense in the NFL. And their offense is pretty good, too. And, man, they lose to a team who were 0 and 0. I mean they they had they had won all game the Jets. All all year. Not one game. Not one game. And and then and then the Pittsburgh Steelers getting beat. I mean getting bruised, bloodied by the Cincinnati Bengals. I mean Juju you're dancing on the middle of the field on the logo of the team that you're playing against before the game. How stupid is that? I mean, I, I tell you, this is where coaching in, is involved. Letting these guys do this. And you're a coach. And you let one of your players do that before the game that is so disrespectful, and no wonder the Cincinnati Bengals came out and they were pissed off. They were hitting like I've never seen anything. They, I, I, it was just all game long, all game long. Cincinnati Bengals played their hearts out, and they just were physical. I mean, physical, and they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers, three games in a row. And what about the New Orleans Saints? Two games in a row. And the Los Angeles Rams. Oh my God, what an embarrassment. You know, I you know, there's there's some teams this weekend is a very pivotal weekend for quarterbacks. We have Kurt Cousins going into New Orleans playing Drew Brees. Both quarterbacks are, you know are suspect. New Orleans, two games in a row they've lost, right? The Minnesota Vikings, they need this game to stay alive in the playoffs. If they win out, they're maybe, maybe they could make the playoffs, but they have to win out. They have to, they have to go through, you know, the New Orleans Saints and win. And the New Orleans Saints, on the other hand, they're 10 and 4. You know, I mean, if they lose this game, they're 10 and 5. And then if the Bucks win, they're 10 and 5. Wow. You know, see what I mean? That you know, it's this is a very pivotal game for both teams. New Orleans Saints did not look good last week, that's for sure. Why don't we just do the top ten passer rank rankings that I think is you know the best? You know, I think the best right now is Mr. Aaron Rodgers. Mr. Aaron Rodgers is definitely the best out there. He has uh, thirty eight hundred and twenty eight yards passing. You know, pass yards per attempt is eight. He has 40 touchdowns, guys. 40. 40 touchdowns he's thrown for. He's rushed for three. That makes a total of 43 touchdowns. And he only has four interceptions for the year. Four interceptions. That's it. You know, uh, his PCT is 69.6. You know, out of 14 games, he has 126 yards rushing. Sometimes he does rush, and he, you know he's only had two fumbles all season long. Two, two, two. 
You know, and if someone says, oh, no, Pat Mahomes should be um, number one. Well, let's go over that. The PCT on Pat Mahomes is 67.3. Aaron Rodgers, 69.6. Aaron Rodgers got him on that one. Okay, well, Pat Mahomes has Aaron Rodgers on yards passing. He sure does. 4,462 yards passing. Yeah, and Aaron Rodgers, 3,828 yards passing. Now, mind you, the running game is is better on the the uh, Green Bay Packers. They run more. Anyway, I just you know wanted to point that out. And yards per pass per you know yards per pass per attempt is 8.2 for Pat Mahomes, and you know Rodgers 8.0. So Mahomes has him there. Mahomes has 36 touchdown passes, and Rodgers has 40. So Rodgers has beat him in that. Interceptions, Rodgers uh, has only four. Mahomes has five. And the uh, Pat Mahomes has two touchdown rushing, and Rodgers has three. So virtually passing uh, and and rushing a total of 38 for Mahomes and 43 for Rodgers. Fumbles lost, it's they're tied 4 and 4. So virtually it's almost a tie. You know, I I'm giving it to Aaron Rodgers. I think he is uh at this moment in time a better quarterback. Very close, very close. But I I'm giving it to Rodgers. After fourteen weeks, uh, fourteen games, if he's played, played, and the next, next, of course, Josh Allen is, has to be number three. You know, um, Josh is just—he's lights out, man. Uh, he's his PCT is sixty-eight point seven. You know uh, that he actually beats um, the passer rating. Uh, uh, he beats Mahomes, and then he has four thousand yards passing, which is he beats. Rodgers in that, and he has, um, Mahomes has 4,400 yards. And uh, yards per attempt, um, 7.8 for Josh Allen, and 6, 8.2 for for Mahomes, and 8, 8, 8.0 for Rodgers, right? 30 yards, 30 touchdown passes. Wow. Nine interceptions, that's the only thing. He has more yards rushing than he... Uh, any of the top two, and then he has, but he has eight touchdown runs. He has rushing touchdowns, rushing touchdowns. He has eight, so virtually he ties Pat Mahomes with total touchdowns, thirty each. Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen, thirty each. So I definitely, um, you know, Josh is you know just. He, Nine interceptions and eight fu- and six fumbles. So and you know Pat Mahomes two and two and five seven. So I mean, unfortunately, uh, you know the total. Uh, Josh Allen is you know nine interceptions and six fumbles. So that's that's the difference, you know. And then I think you know Kyler Kyler Murray is definitely number four. I give Tannehill five. Uh, Deshaun Watson. I would give to six, seven would be Russell Wilson. Uh, and then I would, uh, Hay Bears number nine and uh, Tom Brady 10. Well, I think a Lamar Jackson be, um, is number 12. I, I think Baker Mayfield would probably be number 11 on my books. So, and then, you know, then you have a top 15, you know, then you go 12, you know, Matthew Stafford, then you got, um, Philip Rivers, you know, you know, maybe Drew Brees squeaking out number fifteen. Anyway, uh, that's the top fifteen. I was going to say ten, but I added five. I had to add five more. I mean, I love these guys. It's just so so much fun to just talk to talk about them. That's for sure. Okay, people, let's just get on to week sixteen because week fifteen was just. Well, <laughs> if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, you're And the Los Angeles Rams, you're licking your wounds, that's for sure. Okay, people, let's do it. Let's do it. (laughs) Week, week 
16 starts on Christmas Day. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, NFL, for giving us a Christmas Day football game. We have the Minnesota Vikings going into the New Orleans Saints. Minnesota needing a win, needing a win. The Saints needing a win. That's for sure. Two in a row they've lost. Um uh, for the Saints. So the Saints really need this game. The same with the um, Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings need it even more because the Vikings, um, this is for their livelihood for the year. I mean, if they win out, they just have to wish that every hope and pray that some other teams lose and they can mathematically, they could, if they won out, they could um, uh, make it to the playoffs. So this is a very important game for Kirk Cousins and the, and the, uh, Minnesota Vikings. On the other hand, you have the Saints 10-4. This is going to be a tough game uh, for uh, the Saints as well. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings secondary is definitely in question. Uh, I hear um, that uh, you know, a lot of the Saints players are um, welcoming, welcoming Mr. Breeze back in the helm. I mean, really, uh, you know, without him, they're nothing, guys. They, I don't think um, Taysom Hill is, um, uh, you know, a Drew Brees, that's for sure. It's, he's a different kind of quarterback. Maybe the quarterback of the future. I don't know. Uh, but uh, now Winston is, um, is out this game because of COVID. So that's interesting, guys. That's interesting. So, you know, you it's going to be, you know, this is going to be an iffy game. Hopefully it doesn't go to that. That's for sure. I'm sure it won't. But you do know that Drew Brees is playing with a flapjack. He did have crack ribs, you know, so he's he's back. He's playing, um, and you know, boy, I he's just he's you know Superman. That's for sure. Coming back so soon. So the pick in this game is going to be the New Orleans Saints will surprise. They're all their fans and win and eliminate the Minnesota Vikings in this game. It's going to be a tough game. The Saints in this one, they'll end up 11 and 4 at the end of this game. We have the Bucks going into, uh, we have three games on Saturday. We have the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers going into the Detroit Lions. Uh, Matthew Stafford, that kid is just, I mean, he is, uh, he's Superman. Stafford is definitely Superman. He's he plays hurt like no other. He he reminds me of some like Brett Favre, you know, playing hurt, you know, and uh, he's he's a great he's a gunslinger. And I'll tell you, the Lions could really put a hurt on the Buccaneers, but the Lions five and nine, they're they they just de- you know they just depress me. <laughs> they really depress me. The Lions do I. You know, I, I just would love to see them win, you know, and, but, you know, something about that team and, um, they just need a consistent running game. They need something like that. They need, they need a good offensive coordinator to work with Matthew Stafford's, um, you know, his amazing talent, you know, uh, Marvin Jones looks great this year. If you, if you've got Marvin Jones on your team. Play him, play him in this game. It's going to be a high-scoring game, a uh, very, very high-scoring game. And the Buccaneers are going to win this game, but it's going to be high-scoring. And both quarterbacks are going to be lighting it up in this game. It's going to be a fun game. This is probably going to be one of the fun, fun, fun games to watch. Very high-scoring. It's going to be like 49-44. The Bucks at the end, will score and... It's going to be a fun game to watch. The next game, we have the San Francisco 49ers going into the Arizona Cardinals. 49ers has been playing in Arizona as their home team, but the home team in this one is the Arizona Cardinals because um, San Francisco is all locked down. There's absolutely no gathering of any type of um, football teams or any, anything in that city. That's just California. We're devastated right now. Guys, it's just, I mean, this pandemic is just, wow, you know. Ah, Merry Christmas, right? Uh, This game is going to be a tough game, very tough game. Uh, I think San Francisco is a very good team still, uh, even with Mullins. 
question mark. I where you heard overheard the little bird told me that Matthew Stafford might be going to San Francisco at the end of this year. Ah, Matthew Stafford. There might be, you know, a, a change of the guards in Detroit and, and in San Francisco as well. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I think that would be fun to watch. All those talented um, San Francisco 49ers and that team. Wow, would that be fun to watch, huh? <laughs> Boy, I would, I, I'd pay, pay for season tickets on that one, that's for sure. And um, 49ers... Going into the um, Arizona Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals need to win. Kyle and Murray will win this game. It's going to be a tough game. I think it's going to be a really tough game. I could see the 49ers really making it hard for the Cardinals. Um, I think it'll be a, the Cardinals will pull it out at the end uh, on like a pick six on the Cardinals end. I, you know, the Cardinals defense. I think that's that'll happen. Um, and I think the Cardinals will win this game. They will win. It's now thinking they will win. And the next game, we have the Miami Dolphins going into the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders' defense is just terrible. Terrible. They just let everyone score. I feel bad. I mean, and then now Carr's gone. Mariota is, um, Mariota is the quarterback. He looked good last week. Um, they should have won. But, uh, you know, they're 7-7 seven and seven fighting for their lives, playoff lives. The Dolphins, on the other hand, they're playing, fighting for their playoff lives because Buffalo's definitely <clears throat> going to win that division. So we have the Dolphins and the Raiders. Dolphins um, going into the Las Vegas Raiders. Mariotto, Mariota, excuse me, man, I can't even pronounce his name. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, this is going to be an upset. I'm going to give this to the Las Vegas Raiders over the Miami Dolphins. Oh, sorry, Dolphins. But you're going to get beat on this coming Saturday night. That's the night game on Saturday. We have Sunday. First game we're going to talk about is the Indianapolis Colts going into the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers lost three games in a row. Three games in a row. Their whole team is falling off the cliff. You know. And then you have the high-flying Indianapolis Colts coming into town. Oh, my God. I I see the Colts beating the Steelers in this game. Colts over Steelers. Colts will end up 11-4 at the end of this game, and the Steelers will be 11-4. The next game, we have the Falcons going into the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs, 13-1. Pat Mahomes, oh, the kid is just on fire. And you have the Falcons. You know, I, I, can't, I can't call those games. Falcons, if I call them the win, they'll lose. Really badly. If I call them the lose, then they'll win. So it's like, you know, and it's easy to pick the Kansas City Chiefs on this one. I mean, really, it is. Isn't it easy? And they're in Kansas City. And the Falcons, they just, ah, they look terrible. But then they look good. And then they look terrible. And then they look good. Ah, it's so hard. So hard. I, I'm i going to definitely give this uh, to Kansas City. Kansas City to beat the Falcons. Like every person's going to be kick, picking Kansas City, but I just don't see the Falcons winning this game. I just don't. Uh, and um, man, if it was indoors, they might be the Falcons. Uh, they're just this hot and cold team. You know, this hot and cold team. I just, uh, I just don't see them winning this game. And I think the Kansas City Chiefs would definitely win this game. I mean, think about it, guys. Kansas City's offense is number one and number one in passing, but the passing offense on the um, Atlanta Falcons are number four. But their rushing offense is 28, and that's their defense is at 28. You know, number one offense against the number 28 defense. The 15th defense for the Kansas City Chiefs against the you know the passing offense of uh, the um, you know Atlanta Falcons is four, so I mean you know yeah it's just in every category the Kansas City Chiefs are winning in every category, and I just have to believe in um, the paper and uh, and the heart and I think Mahomes I think it's going to be a close game I think. If, can I, seriously? This is going to be a close game. This is not going to be a romp. 
I'm telling you right now, um, Falcons will be playing their hearts out in this game. It's going to be a fun game to watch. The next game, we have the Bears. I don't know about the Bears. And against the Jaguars. And going into Jacksonville and the Bears. I mean, now they're they're playing. Oh, my God. I, I just... Trubisky and, you know, and they're playing better and they're running better and the Bears are going to win the Jaguars. Wow. And they are. I'm going to actually call the um, game the Bears to win this one. Wow. Um, yeah. The Bears over the Jags. The next game, we have the Bengals who just beat the Steelers and they're playing against the Texans at home. The Texans at home. The Texans at home. And they're playing the Bengals. And the Bengals, um, they looked all world. They looked, their defense looked so good against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Or was it the opposite? Pittsburgh Steelers offense. And the Texans, they don't have much of a running game either. So, you know, if you think about it, the Steelers didn't either. So, uh, and the Bengals, their secondary is just pretty good, guys. Pretty, pretty darn good, the secondary. So, you know, I just, um, I, I see uh, the, uh, the Texans losing. I see the Bengals winning their second straight game in this one, beating the Texans. I think the Texans are done. I mean, I, I haven't seen a team play so bad in, in a long time. And, well, the New York Jets. But the Texans lately, they've been playing some terrible football. And, and the Bengals. I think they'll be riding high and they're going to beat the Texans in this game. We have the New York football Giants going into Maryland and playing the Baltimore Ravens. And the Ravens are 9-5. and I think their Ravens are going to win out. And this is one of the games they're going to win out on. Uh, I feel sorry for Colt McCoy on this one. Or any any giant. Uh, because the Ravens are going to be pissed. They're going to, um, they're going to roll over the Giants in this one. We have the Browns going into New York and playing the Jets, who are 1-13 now. Wow. Uh, but the Jets won't get lucky in this one. The Browns over the Jets. Browns will end up 11-4 and four at the end of this game. We have the next game. We have the Panthers um, going against the Washington football team. Uh, it's going into Washington. Washington's defense, their offense... I'm giving this one um, to the Washington football team over the Carolina Panthers. And um, Washington football team will be 7-8 and eight at the end of this game. We have the Denver Broncos, 5-9, and nine, going into Los Angeles and playing the Los Angeles Chargers at 5-9. and nine. Hey Bear against Locke. This is going to be a fun game to watch. Very fun game to watch. Um, Broncos are playing some... Really, really good football. And the Chargers. I mean, Haber. I mean, he's been lights out with that kid. Lights out. And um, Broncos, Chargers, Broncos, Chargers. Which Charger team's going to show up? Which Bronco team's going to show up? I'm giving this one to the Los Angeles Chargers. Haber will go nuts. He will have six touchdowns in this game. They're going to go at it, both both teams, both quarterbacks. Locke will have four or five touchdowns. Like I said, Hayward will have six. He'll have over 400, close to 500 yards passing. It's going to be a fun game, rock and roll game on this one. Two great quarterbacks are going to be playing fun, young quarterbacks. Going to be throwing lights out, lights out. They're chargers in this one. We have the... Oh, wow. This one's pivotal, guys. We have the Eagles. Jalen Hurts playing lights out, going into Dallas and playing the Dallas Cowboys. Wow. Wow. This is going to be fun. Fun to watch. Fun to watch. That kid, Hurts, he's just, I mean, he almost won last week. Uh, I'm giving this to the Eagles. Uh, The Eagles will go into the Dallas Cowboys stadium and beat the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Mr. Hertz is all that and then some. Uh, and poor Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz announced that he doesn't want to be a second-string quarterback. He refuses to. Huh? 
Maybe once we go over to the Cowboys. Ooh. Think about that one, guys. Huh? 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 That's a thought. That's a thought, huh? We have the next game. We have the Los Angeles Rams going into Seattle, playing the Seattle Seahawks. Wow. What a game this is going to be. Uh, this is going to be an exciting game. Exciting. I mean, very exciting game on this one, guys, because the last time these teams met, the Rams beat the Seahawks, and he they kept, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, um, yeah, Wilson from pay, throwing a touchdown pass. So, I mean, that was one heck of a game. The number eight offense against the number nine offense. Rams are the number eight offense. But we have the number one defense against the number 26 defense. We have the number 13 rushing attacks against the number 12 rushing attack. The Seahawks are number 12. We have the um, passing attack, excuse me, 13 um, for the Rams and passing attack for the, um, the Seattle Seahawks is 12. The Rams are ninth in rushing and the um, Seattle Seahawks are 11th. This is like a tie game. The only thing is, is that the offense, uh, the defense, number 26 for the Seattle Seahawks, that's their... Achilles heel in this one. Rams will come and play. The Rams will beat Seattle in Seattle at the end of this game. The Rams will be 10 and 5. And the Seahawks will be 10 and 5. Yes, the Seattle Seahawks will be 10 and 5 at the end of this game. The next game we have the Tennessee Titans going into Green Bay. Green Bay 11 and 3, looking like they're going to win the NFC. Um, the first, um, they're going to be the uh, top team, top seed in the NFC. Tennessee, 10 and 4. Uh, Tennessee will come down to earth at the end of this game. The Packers in this game, 12 and 3 at the end of this game. Tennessee. Last but not least, we have the Monday night football game the Buffalo Bills going into New England, playing New England. And uh, Bill Belichick, I feel sorry for him. Um, no, I'm not really. Uh, that's the reason why Mr. Brady left. Because look at his team. You know, look at his team. It, they'd probably be a little bit better. But not too much. They'd probably be trying to hit 8-8. Eight and eight, But they're 6-8. and eight, And they're going to lose this game. They're going to be 6-9 and nine at the end of this game. And the Buffalo Bills will beat... The New England Patriots on Monday Night Football, which be the 28th of December. Thank you, people. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Stay safe. This is Calvin Dean with The Calvin Dean Show. See you next week. Merry Christmas and have a joyous new year. I'll see you next week.